Action News Now Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. It is still a little warm, but take a look. You can see that wind blowing around those treetops in Tehama County as we look live in the area. Chief Meteorologist Jason Stiff joins us now. Jason, this is a big shift in our forecast. And even though it's cooler, that wind has me a little bit worried. Yeah, the wind is not doing us any favors as far as the fire danger is concerned. The temperatures are pretty nice. If we could get rid of that wind, it would feel really good for a late September day, but we still have that wind to contend with, and we're not even going to be done with it once this red flag warning expires tonight at 8 o'clock. Still some gusts up to 40 miles an hour possible in the valley and foothills. Humidity certainly lower than yesterday. Yesterday was between 30 and 60 percent. Today and tomorrow between 15 and 25 percent. But it's not just fire danger. Look at this. The other side of the spectrum, more cold weather in the morning. For southern Trinity County and central Siskiyou County, we have a frost advisory with temperatures between 33 and 35 degrees. But then for western and eastern Siskiyou County, as well as most of Modoc County, look at that. Not even October yet, freeze warning. Temperatures could drop down to 20 degrees in a few select select locations, so you got to bring your pets inside. Make sure you cover any plants outside that you can't bring in either because it is going to freeze them. So here's the temperatures right now. Alturas, it's already down to 53 degrees. It's 60 in Bernie, 77 degrees in Chico and Red Bluff, 71 in Paradise, and 76 degrees in Redding. Not much cloud cover now. We had plenty of it yesterday at this time with the rain showers, but all that is long gone. We just have the residual cloud cover as well as the residual wind, and we're not going to lose either of those anytime soon. We'll have some high clouds moving overhead late tonight through early tomorrow, not really keeping us very warm. The wind will actually keep the valley locations a little bit milder than the clouds will, and expecting a mostly sunny sky both Wednesday and Thursday as a ridge of high pressure tries to move overhead. There's going to be one little wiggle on that, a small Trough of low pressure will cool us a couple degrees on Friday, but after that, ridge rebuilds over us. We're going to have lots of sunshine Saturday and Sunday, increasing clouds again early next week as another Pacific storm tries to move our way. So partly cloudy by this time next week with the breezes developing, but not as windy then as it's going to be the next 48 hours or so. For the valley and foothills, still a lot more wind gusts between 15 and 25 miles an hour. Notably quieter though for the higher terrain. That's where we're going to have such cold overnight lows with that air just sitting there still. You're going to have temperatures below freezing, but expect more gusty wind for both valley and foothills all the way through Thursday before things begin to quiet down. Here's your forecast for tomorrow. Expecting slightly warmer temperatures for the northern mountains. Highs from the upper 60s in Mount Shasta to the mid 70s in Hayfork and Weaverville for northeastern California. It's going to be cold tomorrow morning. 20s and 30s. Make sure you bundle up, but it'll warm up nicely in the afternoon with highs in the upper 60s and lower 70s. Same highs for the ridge after a milder morning. We'll have lows in the 50s, but we'll take those 60s and 70s with still some more gusty wind on Wednesday for the Valley. Also, we'll have gusty wind tonight and tomorrow, and that wind will keep us from dropping even further. We'll have lows in the 50s around Shasta and Tehama County, daytime highs in the lower 80s. In the Chico area, also lots of 50s tomorrow morning with some gusty wind in the morning and the afternoon. Highs, though, will also be about 5 degrees warmer in the lower 80s on Wednesday. The next seven days in Chico, we have that warming trend through Saturday and Sunday. It looks like a beautiful weekend, and it's going to be slightly warmer than average with highs near 90 degrees. For Redding, lower 80s tomorrow with some gusty wind through Thursday, but more summer-like heat, not hundreds though, will just stop in the lower 90s.